This is Diablo Canyon. Uh, you've seen this, or you know about it. Diablo Canyon sits both in an earthquake zone and in a historic tsunami zone. And Richard Peck, senior on-site NRC inspector, found and reported to the NRC that the Diablo Canyon was out of compliance with its operating license, that it was not designed and built to withstand the kind of ground motion from the earthquakes that could occur. His reward from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission for trying to protect the health and safety of people was they transferred him to a teaching job in Tennessee and <laughs> overrode his report. This is what happens if a major accident occurs. We are in, in downwind from Diablo Canyon and the big issue here is which way will the wind be blowing and which way would the plume go if there were a major accident. What does a nuclear disaster look like? This is the plume of Fukushima taken by Jet Propulsion Labs on the fourth day. This is where the radiation has gone. And if this were the Fukushima disaster and Diablo Canyon were at the center of that, that radiation plume would already have reached Santa Barbara. So these are the kinds of risks that we are exposed to with Diablo Canyon. A little bit of background on this report. Uh, Diablo Canyon, which has been operating since the mid-80s, there's two reactors there, opened in 1984 and 1985 respectively, now has produced more uh, radioactivity than was released during the entire Chernobyl accident. Mm. A Union of Concerned Scientists study, a very important study on seismic uh, shift, has documented all of the risks and their report found that Diablo Canyon is at a one, one to six risk of a major accident in every year that it continues to operate. I wish I were making these things up, but these are the facts that the Union of Concerned Scientists have come up with. And in the state of California, strontium-90 levels in baby teeth rose steadily, increasing 50% in children born in the 1990s than in the 1980s. Way back in 1962, Rachel Carson, writing in Silent Spring, probably the most important environmental book of the last century, already identified strontium-90 as the silent, sinister partner of all other toxins in the environment. In other words, radiation which comes into the body and can stay for a lifetime can have a major effect on human health. Strontium, uh, plutonium, goes to the genitals, radioactive iodine to the thyroid, cesium-137, which they found in tuna, goes to the soft tissue. Strontium, the body thinks it's calcium, so it takes it into the bones and to the teeth. So we've known about this before from the fallout, and it was because of this. It was because when they were doing the bomb testing, the Soviets were testing weapons, we were testing weapons, megatons of weapons exploded in the environment, and the Geiger counters were going off the charts at universities, and the first baby teeth study was done. And strontium-90 went up, 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 up. Childhood leukemia went up, 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 up. Childhood cancer went up, 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 up. That's when President Kennedy decided to sign, at the height of the Cold War, the nuclear test ban treaty. And he did this with Premier Khrushchev, who was hearing from Sakharov, the father of the Soviet H-bomb, that the same thing, we're poisoning our people. So what that treaty did, was it banned above ground nuclear weapons testing and underwater nuclear weapons testing, and it left underground testing for the military. This is one of the remarkable things about this study. It may be the only, because we believe that California is the only state, or one of the only, we're still checking this, that takes this data, which is from federal CDC, Center for Disease Control, and California state health statistics. This is all public record statistics. They're all available in the public record. And reports them by zip code. So what Joe Mangano was able to do was analyze the cancer rates and the health patterns of the people living very close within 15 miles of Diablo Canyon and directly downwind within that circle. A little farther on in the further out zip codes of San Luis Obispo County. In the zip codes in Santa Barbara County, closest to the Diablo Canyon reactor, 
and then in the Santa Barbara City County where the results are minimal from because we're 90 to 100 miles from the reactor. Here are the major findings and I'll move quickly now to the rest of this. Since the Diablo Canyon opened uh, in the mid 80s, San Luis Obispo has gone from a relatively low cancer to a high cancer county. It went from being below the state level to almost 7% above it, and it is now the highest cancer level of all Southern California counties. This shows in a graph what happened to cancer incidents in San Luis Obispo County uh, in the decades after the plant opened. After Diablo Canyon opens, we see significant rapid increases in thyroid and female breast cancer, highly radiosensitive cancers, as the studies of Hiroshima and Nagasaki demonstrated. Infant mortality, the rate, the death rate of infants in their first year of life uh, went up significantly. Childhood and adolescent cancer death rates rose rapidly, and melanoma incidents soared for reasons we do not completely understand, 130% above the rest of the state and is now the highest in all of California. In the closest counties were the most devastating health impacts, not only cancer, but look, the fetus, the infant, the child, they're the most sensitive. We have adult aspirin, we have childhood aspirin. We know from the EPA that children are more sensitive to every kind of toxin and for a variety of reasons, much more susceptible and radiosensitive. So we see higher increases in low birth weight children. Uh, the ratio of all cause deaths rose. And in the 10 zip codes in Santa Barbara County, closest to the reactor, we see these kinds of increases in infant mortality, low weight births, and total mortality. The major findings after Diablo Canyon began operations, there were significant increases in disease, and death rates in San Luis Obispo County and also in the northern part of Santa Barbara County. This included infant mortality, child and adolescent cancer death, cancer incident for all ages, especially thyroid, female breast, and melanoma, and cancer deaths for all ages. Dr. Uh, Jose, who reviewed this, had this to say about the study. Exposure to radiation is well known to result in an increased risk of developing cancer. Until an, an alternative, plausible explanation is provided, the overwhelming logical conclusion must be that exposure to radiation as a direct consequence of living within a 15 mile radius of Diablo Canyon nuclear power plants re results in an incre increased risk of developing cancer. And this report is stunning. I know it's uncomfortable. And it becomes another reason, along with earthquakes, along with marine life that's being destroyed, why Diablo Canyon must be shut down. And we must move to 100% renewable energies as quickly as possible. Yeah. Thank you.